be a great cricket house. Yeah, my dollhouse furniture fits perfectly in your pickle jar. Cricket's gonna love it. Actually, I decided to call him Crick because it rhymes with Nick. <laughs> okay, Crick, your new house is ready. Huh? He's not going in. I wonder why. We've thought of everything, haven't we? It's a charming house. Cat, do you really like it? I do, I do. Every window has a view. But Nick's cricket won't go into his new home. Why does he need a new home? Because my mom's gardening and she needs to use this wheelbarrow. We need to make Crick the perfect house and soon. I know. Let's go to Dwellington. It's the best place for house building ideas. Your mother won't mind at all if you do. Mom! Can Sally and I go with the cat in the hat to learn how to make the perfect house? And what is wrong with our house? <laughs> Nothing. It's for a cricket that's living under your wheelbarrow. Oh, well, lucky cricket. Sure, go have fun. Thanks, Mom. Oh, and don't move the wheelbarrow till we're done, okay? Okay. <laughs> we can go, we can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Buckle up! <laughs> I'm a wizard! <laughs> In a jiffy. It's going to be grand. We'll design the most crickety house in the land. Design? I thought we were going to make one. Ah, well, making something without designing it first is like flying somewhere without filling the tank with go, go, go juice. You might not get where you were planning to go. What was that? Whoopsie. I forgot to fill the tank with go-go-go juice. We'll have to make an hot plan landing on Laguna Maroon Island. Land, sweet land. Hey, Cat, where are we? We're the only ones here. How are we gonna get more go-go-go juice? Not to worry. I know just who to call. Hello? Uh, is this 24-hour thingam assist? I'm calling from Laguna Maroon Island. We seem to have run out of go-go-go juice. Yes? Uh-huh. Perfect. Well, it'll take a while, but help is on the way. Whew. The sun is really hot, and there's no shade. Do you have any extra hats, Cat? Or beach umbrellas? Afraid not. Oh, my poor sensitive scales. I'll get a fin burn. Maybe we could make some shade. Great idea. Uh, how are we gonna do that? No problem, my friend Fish. Shade is coming your way. Perfect. Thank you, Cat. But you can't stand there forever. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we could build a shelter to protect us from the sun. Excellent idea. First, we need stuff to build it with. Yes, materials. Uh, like what? Guess we'll just have to see what things we can find. Ooh, thing finding. What fun. On your marks, get set, fine! Materials. Look at Nick's nifty sticks. Ah, they're nice and strong. Yes, 
But they're not wide enough to make much shade. Your big leaves are shady. Oops. They're shady, all right, but not strong enough to stand up. Ah, I found seaweed. It isn't strong or shady, but it does make a lovely swish when I dance the hula. <laughs> and I found these round things. They might be good for something. What if we combine our materials to build a shelter? What do you have in mind? Well, it could look like this. We can use my strong sticks to make it stand up. And my big leaves to make it shady. And these round things for... Hmm, I don't know what. Now that is what I call a great design. If only we had something long and stringy to hold everything together. Hmm. <gasps> we do! Cat, <laughs> look! We do? Oh, we do! How clever. Well, what are we waiting for? One shady shelter coming up. shelter I've ever seen. Let's try it out and see if it works. Last one in is a hot jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool and shady in here. I'd say you designed the perfect shady shelter. Thank you from every one of my sensitive scales. <sighs> hey, who turned on the lights? The wind is making the leaves flap. I guess our shady shelter isn't perfect after all. Hardly anyone's right on their very first go. But the next time you try it, you'll know what you know. Cat's right, Sally. We just have to come up with a better design. Hmm. These leaves have a lot of spaces between them. And it's letting the sunlight through. We need something else to help block the sun. Whoa! What about those leaves? They don't have any spaces. They're perfect. But we'll never get them down from way up there. Oh, never say never, Sally. When there's something you need, but it's too high for you, you can always rely on thing one and thing two. <laughs> How are you? Would you be ever so kind and get us some of those great big leaves from way up there? <laughs> Thanks, things. These look great. Let's give them a try. I think it's much better, but we'd better test it again. Right you are. Time for a shady shelter inspection. Strong materials? <laughs> Check. Windproof design? <gasps> Check. And finally, is our shady shelter shady? It's perfect. I declare this the shadiest shelter in Laguna Maroon. Yeah. You did it! We all did it! Not really. You guys planned it, found materials, built it, and improved it. All I did was find these useless little round thingies. Hmm. Aha, I thought so. These aren't thingies. They're go-go-go fruits. Does go-go-go juice come from go-go-go fruits? Yep. They're the juiciest fruit there is. Uh, oh, wait. We could use the go-go-go juice to refuel the thingamajigger. Now, why didn't I think of that? Fish, you're ever so helpful. Well, that should do it. All aboard for Dwelling Town! Cats, do you mind if we go straight home instead? But what about Crick's house? 
We think we know how to design a better house for Crick. The jar is really hot from the sun, just like on the island. No wonder Crick wouldn't go inside. But Crick needs a home that's cool and shady. We need to build him a shady shelter. Let's look for materials. What a lucky Cricket. He has two expert designers to plan his house. <gasps> this old flower pot will help. <sighs> there, shady and natural. Okay, Crick, hope you like your new shady shelter. There is nothing more thoughtful for two kids to give than a beautiful home where our new friend can live. 